Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do some more missing people pet cases. Um, you want to know what article I'm reading this off of? It's ourblackgirls.com. I was on another page, but I lost that page. So, I guess it was meant for me to be on this page. I would be the ones breaking the codes, seeing where they are located, or if they are alive or deceased. Okay, so let's begin. It's about Je Jessica Gillott. G U I L L O T 21. Five people kidnapped her in 2013. She remains missing. Okay. Yeah, she is deceased. Okay. Because how the picture is taken. Because what they did to my ex wife, aka my baby mama, Sandra Blaine. Okay. And she said they, they thought that she was me or something. Okay. In her youth, Jessica Gillard had a bit of trouble. It is reported that while she was a teen, Jessica had been involved with drugs and substance abuse. In addition to her run-ins with the laws, but by the time she was 21, her mother claimed that she was making better choices. She said, oh, that is true. By 2013, Jessica had two children and was getting back on track, and her family was hopeful that her additions were behind her. She said, that's true. However, like 10 of millions of others, Jessica Gillard continued to struggle through her recovery. True. Then on September the 7th, 2013, she seemingly vanished without a trace. Despite any issues that plagued her, Jessica's loved ones insist that she wouldn't just walk away from her life without notifying someone, nor would she leave without returning within a day or two. She's saying true. She said when she was doing drugs like weed and stuff, she was at home doing it. The last time anyone saw Jessica, she was walking away from her home in Sema Sport, Louisiana. She said she was going to the store. She had taken her daughter to her mother's residence, and after that, she was gone. See, two mothers, she was sold, okay? She was gone. Jessica's mothers were later, so the first part, she said, they assumed that soon she was me. She said, nah, she didn't say that. Jessica's mother would later go to her home to try to find her, and when she arrived, she noticed that the place was in chaos. It looked as if someone ransacked the residence. She saying, who? Like, when she went outside, it was people already in her house after she, like, went to go to the store. And then when they got her, she said, okay, how she also looked. Just one month after she disappeared, five people were attacked was tacked with aggravated kidnapping charges in connections in connection to Jessica's case, so they got her body suit. Police believe Donnie L was Willie Price Jr., Asa, ASA Bentley, Shadrick McGee, and Tamika Williams coordinated to our Dutch Jessica Galat because she illegally stole money and cocaine. She saying fool. And and they really wanted her body, okay? Her her body and her money, her spiritual money, her wealth. Okay, spiritually, that what that also means. Two of the robbery can stand for they want a body and shit. Two of the suspects, Maggie and Bentley, was reportedly also given charges of aggravated assault with a firearm. Jessica and Williams were distantly related, as the missing woman's nephew is William Child's half brother. Reports state that when William took the scene, she told the court that she and the suspect drove around looking for Jessica before kidnapping her and throwing her in the back of an SUV. They've been watching her. Elvin was reportedly behind the wheel as Bentley subdued Jessica by sitting on top of her. True. According to Williams, Bentley threatened to kill Jessica before choking her as she pleaded for help. She's saying Mom James paid them to do this, okay? So he wanted her body too. The attack was not quick, said Williams. For approximately 10 to 15 minutes, Williams testified she heard all sorts of noises behind her, behind her, including glass breaking, choking sounds, or struggling breaths, and the sounds of a person being hit in the hit, in addition to the smell of feces. Also, she told me to tell y'all about the kids. The reason why they rape kids and rape people, she said the reason why they rape kids is because they don't want the kids to die version. Okay. Williams claimed she never turned around to see what was going on in the SUV because she was testing with her sister and would later dropped off at her home. Court lies, okay. Court documents stated that later that day, the suspect returned to pick up Williams, and she testified that it seems that Maggie had been crying, yet yeah, they sold her to my James. Weeks later, or he sold her to them, okay. Weeks later, no, those were his goons, so he bought Jessica. But he just had his goons to get her, okay? 
Weeks later, Williams, yes, that would happen to Luke Brown as well. Weeks later, Williams claimed she called the police and pointed them in her own direction because she was ready to tell her story, but she wanted authorities to come to her. She would add that Ben, that's a ransom talk right there. She would add that Ben Lee, like some said it all shit. She would add that Ben Lee took her to a field the following day and said he disposed of physical galops remains there. Some of it. Williams did not want to, the, the things he did not like, she was saying. Williams did not want to look at the aftermath, but Bentley illegally said that he planned on moving the remains to another location. Yes. Investigators could not find evidence inside of the SUV tying the suspect to a murder. Yet there was a consistency with Williams' story like a particular broken window. Because Bentley's girlfriend filed a police report stating that the vehicle had been vandalized. In the summer of 2014, Maggie was convicted of simple ma simple kidnapping. He was sentenced to life in prison, but later it was vacated because the apparently court stated evidence only showed that Maggie was there for the kidnapping, but it did not show he committed a crime or had the intention of participating in criminal activities. Um, when they say that, they mean they killed the, everybody, they killed all the police officers. They killed all the police that was in that station, okay? And he was there when they killed her. Prosecutors fought the appeal and the life in prison sentence was later reinstated and no, she did not know them. These little mob James and them goons, okay? Little people, you know, they goons or whatever, you know how it go. In early 2015, both Price and Bentley was found guilty of secondary kidnapping and by the spring, it was pleaded guilty to simp simple kidnapping. Williams secured a plea deal for her testimony. The deal called for her to plead guilty to obstruction of justice with an agreed upon sentence of 10 years in prison. Reads court documents. Price received 30 years while Bentley was sentenced to 70 years in prison. None of the five suspects were charged with the death of Jessica Galat. However, the district attorney said that if there was a witness or evidence to prove that Jessica was no longer alive, they would suddenly seek murder charges. Jessica remains a missing person. At the time of her disappearance, Jessica Galat stood 5 feet 2 inches tall and weighed 125 to 135 pounds. She had black, dark brown hair and brown eyes. She had a scar on the left side of her face from the corner of her mouth towards her left cheek. Jessica had a tattoo on her left hand of the letters, hand of the letters HBC, head of bitch in charge. Her middle name is Raquel, R-A-Q-U-E-L. Her dental and DNA records are on file. Anyone with information regarding this case is urged to contact the, o a the a -O -Yes, a -V -O -Y -E -L -L -E -S, Parish Sheriff's Office at 318-253-4000 or their local authorities. The agency case number is 13-1014-01 capital D. Please share this story about Jessica Galat to help bring her home. She is our sister and her life matters, okay? Y'all want to help with this case, y'all can. Um, I don't do it for the fame or the money. I do it because it's what I love to do. Okay, I'm out. Peace.